At the end of every academic year, we take a little bit of time in the final chapel service to honor those among the student body who are graduating uh, who have performed exceptionally well. We know that all of you students work hard. We recognize that, and you do well. Indeed, some of you do very well, but there are always those who seem to rise to the top for various reasons. God's blessing upon their lives, their calling, their ability, and so many other things. And so it is right and fitting that at this time that we take some time to honor those who have accomplished this work. And so this morning, what we have before us are four different awards. Uh, normally there are five. The fifth award is for preaching, and that was uh, offered up a couple of weeks ago. It wasn't our fault, it was someone else's fault, who was noted a little earlier. Uh, we've just heard from him, but, uh, but we do indeed um, uh, have normally five awards. And what we're going to do now, is, as you'll see in your order of uh, worship here, is we'll go through each of these awards, and a professor from the faculty who is appropriate to the award will introduce the recipient, say something about them, and then present the award. So I give you Dr. House. Dietrich Bonhoeffer was a seminary director and teacher for longer than any other role he fulfilled in his life. And he stressed two things that this award brings together. One was, like Beeson, he believes that communion with one another and person-to-person -person studies is not just desirable, it's essential for formation. And he also really made his students work hard in biblical languages. The William Todd Award is named for William Todd, who is a pastor dedicated to using biblical languages in preaching and ministry. I've met Dr. Todd. He, he is a, a wonderful person. His daughter, Susan Doyle, is here today. And Susan, if you don't mind, would you please just stand so that we can uh, greet you and folks can see you afterwards? Thank you. It is very good to see you. Your father's ministry and your family's witness goes on through this award and through these students. Matters a great deal to us, thank you. The winner of this year's award, I will ask to join me after I give this description, but the winner is Amy Jackson. Dr. Padilla said about Amy's Greek translations that in the first year already they were nearly flawless. I can attest that her daily preparation, Hebrew 3 and 4, was thorough, her exegetical writing fluent and insightful, her translations careful and attentive to Hebrew artistry. But since we know Amy Jackson, not just through her communicated work, but we know her personally, I would say the following. She is humble, she's compassionate, she's teachable. She's also blessed with steely determination. Never miss that about her. She has been a caring mentor group member. She was not required to come her last semester. She came every time. She was not required to take any more Hebrew, but she did that as well. She goes way beyond the merely required in her life. So I am grateful to know Amy Jackson and to present her as the William Todd Award winner this year. I was absent uh, the faculty meeting that handed out the awards to the students, and as a consequence, I became a presenter. <laughs> and I am delighted to be able to speak to the recipient of this pastor, Pastoral Studies Ministry Award. Uh, Christy Averill is known to so many of us, and I think that's one of the blessings of these awards, when they're not just the choice of the faculty, but the person in many ways embodies and represents the student body so that when Christy comes up in a moment she will reflect not only her personal ability in this way but also you as the student body at Beeson Divinity School. I've had Christy in spiritual formation and Christian preaching and Christ in culture 
as well as in ministry leadership uh, prep. So I feel like I know Christy well, so I'm really glad the faculty chose her. And she embodies in so many ways Colossians 3, 12 through 17. I remember reading her uh, reflection papers in spiritual formation, how much she loved her family and how much her family contributed to her solid Christian faith. That came through so often and in so many ways. Therefore, chosen, holy, and dearly loved, uh, that's how Christie started Beeson. Solid foundation in Christ, solid foundation in family. And then all of us who know Christie know how involved she is with people. She has loved UAB students. She has loved Sanford students. She has cared deeply, prayed deeply. She has wept over the potential of suicide in some of these students that she has cared for. She has walked with them, all the while doing really excellent academic work. Everything I read from Christy was always first-rate, thoughtful. The person was related to the theological and academic side very well. So the Word of God has dwelt in Christy deeply. That's come through in so many powerful ways. So, Christy, come forward and receive this award. We are grateful to be able to give that honor to you. The History and Doctrine faculty may not always see eye to eye when it comes to the finer points of Calvin or Schleiermacher interpretation, but we were actually quite unanimous in selecting a student who we believe is deserving of this award, and that is Alex Aries. And I'm going to ask him to come up and join me in just a moment, but, uh, oh, come, come up, just come up. I know you're eager. Uh, but we all believe that Alex has the makings of a superb intellectual historian, and he will, he's a promising young historian, and he has a great future ahead of him. And um, let me just unpack that for a, for a moment um, in terms of what I believe those makings are. Alex has shown himself to be able to read texts closely, perceptively, and generously. And that ability is sort of point number one. But it's, it goes beyond that. It's not just the ability to read text. It's also the ability to situate texts in their broader context, to put them in dialogue with other texts from the same period. And finally, the third point has to do with being aware of scholarship and being aware of the communal nature of scholarship as we put these texts to use and we make them talk to each other in terms of our own concerns and um, the concerns of the church, but also the concerns of the academy. And I believe that Alex has demonstrated all those three points in his scholarship. He wrote a wonderful paper for me for my seminar on the role of the conscience in Luther, although his real heart is, um, is in the uh, Zurich Reformation in Zwingli and Bollinger, and I say, well, good for him. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, it's a, it's a real pleasure. Well, what wonderful presentations for uh, three great uh, student award winners. As I was listening and seeing them receive their awards, I thought, well, any one of these could also be receiving this award, the most distinguished student, as well as many of you. We know that's true. But each year, the faculty chooses one student out of the graduating class to be given the most distinguished student award for Beeson Divinity School in recognition of outstanding and holistic achievement in scholarship, Christian spirituality, and ministry involvement. The person who's going to receive this award today has been described by uh, one of the faculty members as a, a student who consistently demonstrated excellence in his academics and ministry and spiritual leadership. His exegetical work is careful and exacting. His expository efforts are biblical and impressive. 
and all of this tempered by his care and devotion to his family. He has a wonderful wife named Katie, a little son named Richie. He's given a lot of attention and care for them when it was really needed, as well as pursuing all these avenues of service to which the Lord has called him, together with a life of really uh, outstanding humility, the kind of humility that doesn't brag on itself, that maybe doesn't even recognize itself, but is seen by others. And that is one word that I would summarize in terms of a maturity in the Lord and in the things of the Spirit. So at this time, I am pleased to invite Matt Harbour to come and receive the Most Distinguished Student Award. Proud of you. Well, one other difference between this award and the others is the, the winner gets to say something. Uh, not too long, but uh, he doesn't know anything about this, but uh, maybe the Lord will give him some words if he'll open his mouth and speak them. Uh, I'm going to present you this award, which has a check for some real money in it, and also a certificate that says you can go by the office of the Associate Dean, Dr. Hogg, and receive a whole package of books. Now, they were so heavy, we couldn't present them to you here today, but they are there waiting for you. God bless you, Matt. Thank you. Well, there's one thing I know that my wife is not happy to hear, and that's that I'm getting more books. <laughs> As I look over the, the people sit, uh, seated here to my left, I... I get a little choked up. I don't know quite what to say, uh, but these people have made such a profound impact on my life in the last three years. I count many of them as mentors uh, and spiritual guides and friends. But I, I think the same thing about all of you who are sitting out here as well. I, I could not have made uh, this journey over the last three years without these faculty, yes, without my wife, yes, but not without any of you as well. Um, I think thank God for all of you for what you have meant to me and what you have helped me to become and continue to be. And I pray God's blessings on all of you. And I thank God for Beeson Divinity School. Thank you.